Yo, 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 what's going on at the fight world? It's your boy Money back with another one, fam. And that's what here is on two big dogs in this fight game and arguably the greatest fighter of all time. We have Jerron Boost Ennis, the up and coming welterweight that's a top contender. He's high on everybody's list right now as the next guy to take over 147 pounds. Then we have Javante Tank Davis, that killer that got real out of Baltimore, the three-division world champion. And we all know Tank is the hottest young fighter in the game. And then we have Floyd Money Mayweather, arguably the greatest fighter of all time. Now, Javante Tank Davis, let Jerron Boost in his know. Let him know, Tank, to stay his own man. Floyd Mayweather is going to try to come for Jerron Boost in his. I want Javante Tank Davis to let him know to stay his own man, be your own boss, right? Keep doing what you're doing and listen to Al Heyman. You feel me? Listen to Al Heyman, right? Tank, Jerron Boost Ennis, they about to put on um, in Washington, D.C. this Saturday night, right? January the 7th. We all know the situation that's going on with Tank. You know, he putting all that behind him and he's ready to put on the show. But as you can see right here, two of the top young hitters in this fight game that, that can help, you know, keep boxing in the forefront of a lot of sports. Tank and Jerron Boost Ennis, man. They have that knockout power. They have that it factor. And both of these boys are young killers. You feel me? But I want Tank to tell Boots to stay in your position and do not sign to TMT Mayweather Promotions. This is my feelings, everybody. This is my feelings. Now, yes, Floyd did wonders for Tank. I would never take that away from Floyd. And y'all know Floyd is my GOAT. I love Floyd Mayweather inside that square circle. But right now, Javante Tank Davis is putting himself on the map and he want to get from up under the Floyd Money Mayweather spotlight. You feel me? He want to get from up under the Floyd Money Mayweather spotlight and show people that me, Javante Tank Davis, I'm a killer, I'm a gorilla, and I can hold this shit down by myself. And that's what he's going to do January the 7th and going forward. Now, we all know we up on the Floyd spotlight. Floyd is not going to let you shine more than him, bro. These are just facts. You know what I'm saying? He's not going to let you shine more than him. So you have to go out there and understand that, okay, thank you, Floyd, for what you did for me, but I got to go out here and make my legacy. And, and so when my career is over with, people know me for Javante Tank Davis that fought everybody instead of Javante Tank Davis that just made a lot of motherfucking money in the game. You understand what I'm saying? Now, of course you want to get your money, man. I'm not going to tell Jerron Boots Ennis not to get his money, man. But the money go come from Boots. The money go come from Boots. Right now, Boots is making his name. Boots got the 147-pound division on notice, right? And he don't need to go up on the Floyd Mayweather. So Floyd Mayweather can start taking the spotlight and, and, and start over, overshadowing you and what you're doing inside that square circle. Now, of course, Boots, you know, he with a promotion company right now. So we know Floyd can't touch him at the moment. But when Boots become a free agent... When, it, when this contract is up, Floyd is coming for him, bro. Trust me. He's going to send Leonard Ellaby after Jerron Boots Ennis. He's going to send Leonard Ellaby after Jerron Boots Ennis, and he's going to try to court Jerron Boots Ennis like he tried to do with Mikey Garcia. You feel me? But Boots better listen to Tank. Boots better watch Tank. And Boots better stay a free agent and do Jerron Boots Ennis. Now, we know he got the Jordan deal, but he got more to come. Now, like I say, this is my GOAT right here, y'all. I love Floyd Money Mayweather to death. This is my greatest fighter of all time. Let me repeat this. Floyd Money Mayweather is my greatest fighter of all time. You understand what I'm saying? I know how good he is. I know the skills that he got. I know what he did for the sport of boxing. He helped, he helped take the boxing out of the promoter's hands and put it into the fighter's hands. And we have to respect that. But what Floyd don't understand is... He don't know how to get out his own way, bro. He don't know how to get out his own way, and he don't know how to let these fighters, you know, have their career and let them do them. You know what I mean? He got to let these fighters have their career and let them do them and not try to get all the fucking spotlight and all the shine all the time because that's exactly what he does, bro. And whether he know if he's doing it or not, he have to stop that shit. Because he overshadowed Tank and he overshadowed Tank career while always talking about himself. And he will do the same thing for Jerron Boots Ennis, bro. He will overshadow Jerron Boots Ennis by talking about himself all the damn time. Um, you know, um, when, when I look at Jerron Boots Ennis, um, um, I look at a younger Floyd Mayweather. Um, when I was coming up, um, you know, I wanted to fight everybody. Um, 
you know, I, I went to Bob Arum. I told him, give me what you got. Fuck that. Give me what you got. How much you got? How much money you got? Give it to me. Because I understand the bigger picture. I knew I had to put myself in this situation and put myself in that situation. Everything will come come about Floyd Mayweather. But, you know, when, when I look at Boots, um, um, he had the skill to, to, to outdo me. Um, he, 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 he's, he's, a, he's a hell of a fighter. Um, I look at him and I tell him, um, you're going to be the next Floyd Mayweather. You're going to be, everybody going to be the next Floyd Mayweather. You lead up to Floyd. Tank the next Floyd Mayweather. Devin Haney the next Floyd Mayweather. Shakur Stevenson the next Floyd Mayweather. Earl Spence the next Floyd Mayweather. Terrence Crawford the next Floyd Mayweather. Now Jerron Boots Ennis is going to be the next Floyd Mayweather. No, these fighters need to be them. These fighters need to be them. Tank need to be Tank. Boots need to be Boots. Earl need to be Earl. Uh, fucking Terrence Crawford need to be Terrence Crawford. Everybody can't be no fucking Floyd Mayweather. And in the same breath, Floyd Mayweather turn around and say, no other fighter be better than me. No other fighter. I never say any other fighter be better than me. I didn't get this sport 20 plus years of my life to say anybody is better than me. Ever. There'll never be. So when you hear that type of shit, um, Dewey got your best interest 120% when it comes to your legacy. Because Floyd gonna help you make money. For shit show, he gonna help you make money. He makes money. But it comes down to the legacy part, man. It comes down to the big fights, man. Put you in position. Put you in position to be a fucking all-time great. And if, and if, and if it have to be, to break his records and to be better than him. But Floyd don't know how to do that shit because he want to be known as the greatest boxer of all time. You feel me? And it ain't nothing wrong with that. It ain't nothing wrong with that. But don't say things like, oh, well, you know, this the next Floyd Mayweather, this the next Floyd Mayweather. Um, records are made to be broken and all that shit. Then turn around and say, it'll never be nobody better than me. Or, you know, shit like that. I don't like that. Because I look at that as, as hypocritical talk. You know what I'm saying? So, when I look at Tank, I understand why Tank wanted to get away from Floyd Mayweather. I understand why. You feel me? He want his own shine and he don't want to go on that motherfucker and, and be like, okay, every time it's, it's time for them to, you know, let me talk or this, that, he just overshadowed me and he overpowered me, bro. I don't like that shit neither. And I'm quite sure Tank is tired of that shit, especially when you're a grown-ass man in your own lane now. Especially when you're a grown-ass man in your own lane. So with Jerron Boots Ennis, you know, Floyd going to do the same shit, bro. He going to do the same shit. You got to think about it. Boots is, what, 24, 25? So, you know, that's just the right, the right age for Floyd to manipulate a little bit. Now, credit, Boots got a strong fucking team over there. His father, his brothers, and things of that nature, you know? But when Floyd come in, Floyd like to take over. When Floyd come in, Floyd like to take over. You understand? And he like to start trying to move motherfuckers around like he tried with um, Calvin Ford and shit like that. But Tank Nell wasn't having it. You know, Calvin's solid as they come, baby. Calvin, the, them Baltimore boys ain't no joke. Now, they, they keep it humble. They laugh and joke. But them Baltimore boys ain't no motherfucking joke. Baltimore's, the, yeah, they like that. They like that. You feel me? Shouts out to the Rise Podcast, man. Y'all go subscribe to the Rise Podcast, you know? So when I look at this situation, man, um, Javante Tank Davis, he's fit to be a fucking megastar in this game. As long as he move the right way and fight the right fights. Jerron Boots Ennis have the skill set, the mindset, and the determination to be a megastar in this fight game. You just got to move right and make the right fights. It's okay to get co-signed by Floyd here and there, things of that nature. But at this stage, um, Jerron Boots Ennis don't need to be signed to Floyd Money Mayweather. And I think Tank will let him know that. You feel me? Stay on your path. Do you. Continue to do what you do. And everything you want will come to you, bro. Period. Period. And I love Floyd. And Floyd will have other fighters signed under TMT and up under Mayweather Promotions. But I don't think Jerron Boots Ennis and Javante Tank Davis um, need to be up under Mayweather Promotions at this moment. Because, like I said, Floyd don't know how to get out of his own way when it's time to let these kids shine. And these boys are at the point where they need to be let off the chain. And these boys need to shine. And Tank is about to do that. And Jerron is about to do that. January the 7th. And I can't wait. Shouts out to both of these boys. I'm going to be tuning in. I'm buying pay-per-view. Yes, I'm buying pay-per-view. And we go kick it January the 7th. Salute to both of y'all boys. Go out there and handle y'all business. And Monty Brown will be back with another one. Until then, it's your boy Monty. It's the NSBC moving. And everybody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. If you want to donate OG Money on Cash App, Trey to 52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.